Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tanya. I'm a holistic health coach and I make weekly videos on holistic health and nutrition. So if you're into that, definitely be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos. A lot of functional medicine practitioners recommend getting at least like eight servings of vegetables a day. And I like to get the bulk of that in my lunch as a big salad I like to call a nourish bowl. One way I like to keep things interesting with my nourish bowls is adding delicious healthy dressings to them. So today I'm showing you five healthy dressing recipes that you can make at home they are easy to make and they will add a ton of flavor to your salads so let's get into it let's start off this video with a super simple one we got an herb and lemon vinaigrette you can't go wrong with this one and you will most likely have all the ingredients in your pantry already so it's easy to put together last minute Anything vinaigrette, I recommend using a mason jar from the start so you can just add the ingredients in, give it a good shake, and then store it in there so you don't have any dishes afterwards. For this recipe, you're gonna need some avocado oil, some apple cider vinegar, some lemon juice, dried basil, dried oregano, some dried parsley, then some salt, and some pepper. Give it a good shake and you're done. Next up, we have one of my all time favorites and a go to of mine, especially in the fall time. This one is also super easy to make. So grab yourself a mason jar and add the following ingredients. A quarter cup of avocado oil and a quarter cup of honey. By the way, I highly recommend starting with the oil and then the honey because the honey goes out so much smoother. And then a quarter cup of the apple cider vinegar. And then a quarter cup of Dijon mustard. And of course, a little bit of salt. You can give it a stir to make sure the honey is well combined. And then once again, you can give it a good shake and you're done. Okay, next one is a Caesar salad dressing. And this recipe is actually included in my ebook. It is so good to the point that I make it all the time as like a dipping sauce. So I really, really wanted to share this recipe with you. I like to prepare this one in a medium bowl. And then I add some avocado oil mayo, juice of half a lemon, some minced garlic cloves, some Dijon mustard, anchovy paste, don't worry if you can't find this. Um, you can also make the recipe without it, but I do like the little kick that it adds. And then some sea salt and some pepper. Give it a good whisk and then transfer it to an airtight container and you can store it in the fridge. The next two dressings are the creamiest, yes, so definitely stick around for those two. Let's start with the creamy chipotle one. This one reminds me of a dressing that I get with my salads and bowls at this place here in Halifax called Culture. But unfortunately, I'm sure that dressing is full of canola oil and some added sugar. So today I'm showing you an alternative without those ingredients. I'm using cashews to create a creamy texture. So all you have to do is place the cashews in a bowl, cover it with warm water and let it sit for an hour. Once the cashews are done soaking, drain and rinse them and place them in the food processor, along with some chipotle peppers in some adobo sauce. We're also gonna add a little bit of water, some lemon juice, some avocado oil, some salt, and some pepper. As usual, blend it up and then you have yourself the creamiest dressing. The cashews in here just makes everything so creamy. Okay, I might have saved the best for last year. This one is the ultimate creamy dressing. I love using it more as like a dip for some like almond flour chicken fingers or some sweet potato fries. We're gonna use the food processor once again, but if you don't have one, that's okay. You can also do it without it, just in a bowl. But I do highly recommend a food processor because it just makes your life so much easier. I love my 14 cup Cuisinart. It honestly blends everything. I will leave a link down below if you are currently looking to grab one. So we're gonna start off by adding one avocado, some juice of half a lime, about half a cup of cilantro, some garlic, some avocado oil, mayo to make it even creamier. And then we're gonna add some salt, pepper, and I like adding some crushed red pepper flakes in this dip as well. 
Once everything is in there, blend it up and you have yourself the creamiest avocado aioli. This will brown because of the avocado, so I recommend trying to use it as soon as possible. Okay, this is a bit of a bonus recipe, but essentially if you don't like getting in the kitchen and you still want some healthy dressings, I highly recommend you bring Primal Kitchen. This is not sponsored or anything, and there are probably other brands out there that make some good quality dressings, but I really like a Primal Kitchen. Essentially, if you flip it over, the ingredients are very, very similar to what we use in today's recipes. So again, if um, I don't feel like making my own, then usually I have some of these in the pantry or in the fridge ready to go. Here I have the barbecue ranch. It's like a good like creamy one. And I also like the honey mustard, and this is more like a vinaigrette. I get these in Canada. I get them on Natura Market. I have a link in my bio to Natura Market where you can grab these. And if if you are in the US, you can probably grab them on Amazon. I'll also leave a link to that or just at your local health food store. And there you have it, my top healthy salad dressing recipes. If you're looking for more healthy recipes, I have a ton of recipes in my ebook called Modern Paleo. You can find the ebook and all the details on it in the description box. It's one of the first links. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I'd love if you could give it a like and subscribe to my channel. That essentially just lets YouTube know that the content I'm putting out there is great and then it'll be shown to more people. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!